Hey guys! Welcome to another vlog! So today, I'm here naman kami sa aming kitchen. Uh, but not to do a cooking vlog. But today, I'll be giving you tips on how to successfully book a seat sale. So, ang dami-dami nagtatanong guys because they have noticed that we've been traveling recently tapos yung fare is napakamura and they've been asking kung paano namin na-book yun. So in this video, I'll be showing you on how we did it. So uh, just to give you an overview guys, uh, last September um, when we went to Brunei, that uh, airfare actually is only for 1,600 pesos round trip already. Um, yung sa Korea naman last December, that was only booked for 3,600 pesos round trip also per person. And then this February for our Thailand trip, uh, that was only booked for 3,200 pesos round trip the din. And then uh, this May, hopefully that's for Shanghai kasi eh, Shanghai, China. Hopefully matuloy siya because of that NCO virus. Um, but that was only booked for 2,100 pesos. So, ganun siya kamura, guys. Um, and we are very thankful for these seat sales because natutupad ang aming mga travel goals kasi nga, for us, hindi namin afford magbayad ng regular fare. So, eto lang talaga yung aming chance para makapag-travel. And I, and I think, same rin sa karamihan sa atin, di ba? So, if you're interested to know kung paano namin na-book, uh, ang mga uh, promo fairs na yon, then please keep on watching. Okay, so uh, by the way guys, before we proceed, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and please also hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time that we upload a new video. Okay, so let's um, start. First tip na may bibigay ko sa inyo guys is eto yung pinaka-importante sa lahat. You have to follow the Facebook page of your airline of choice. By the way, in this uh, video, we will be focusing on Cebu Pacific kasi nga ito yung airline na always nagkakaroon ng seat sale and ito din yung always namin ginagamit. But this is also going to be applicable sa kahit anong airline of choice ninyo. The reason why very important na nakafollow kayo sa kanilang uh, Facebook page because all of their seat sales are actually broadcasted or announced in their Facebook page. Uh, for example, here sa Cebu Pacific, ayan, all the information um, like this one and all the seat sales are actually um, announced dito. So it's very, very important, guys. They usually announce it few days before the start of the seat sale or sometimes on the day itself so again make sure you follow their facebook page tip number two um you also have to stay late you must be willing to stay late because as you have noticed almost all airlines right now guys but uh, <laughs> Pasansya niyo ng aming doggy. Uh, she's very noisy. Okay, so anyways, most of the airlines right now, kapag nagsiseat sale, it always starts at 12 midnight. So dapat, kapag alam mong may seat sale for that specific day, or for the specific day, stay late ka din. Diba? Uh, although, recently, for Cebu Pacific, uh, meron na kasi lang schedule for for their seat sale. I mean, their seat sale is divided into 8 hours, every 8 hours interval. So let's say for example, from 12 midnight to 8 a.m., all local destinations. And then from 8 up until 4 uh, for like East Asia, for example. And then from 4 up until 12 again, it's going to be Southeast Asia, something like that. So if... Uh, destination na gusto nyong puntahan is nasa 12, let's say for example to 8 na time frame then of course you or you need to stay up late para makabook kayo 
ba? Diba? So, it's very, very important, guys. Because, again, paunahan to yung seed sale. So, dapat willing din kayong mag-puyat uh, para lang makabook. Tip number three. Huwag din maging choosy, guys, when it comes to the date. Alam ko, for most of us, or we travel uh, during our, like, if there is a special occasion, right? If it's our birthday or anniversary or whatever, uh, pero not all of the time is uh, merong seat sale sa specific date na gusto natin, right? So you have to be flexible also. Let's say for example, that September trip that we have that was for the birthday sana of Eugene, which is September 8th. Pero since walang seat sale, during that date, na birthday niya sana, na magfo-fall under uh, on his birthday, we had to book it a week after. So we had it September 12 to 17 ata, which is already after his birthday. So it's good if makakita kayo ng seat sale or ng murang fair within uh, the desired dates. Uh, pero kung wala, of course, we also have to be flexible. Uh, likewise, same din to guys sa, sa destination na, na gusto nating puntahan. Although meron tayong, gustong, meron tayong lugar na gustong puntahan, na tina-target natin na dyan tayo gustong pumunta, but if ever na wala na siyang available um, promo fare for that specific destination, so we also have to be flexible, right? Uh, especially if ang goal ninyo is yung makakolect lang naman ng stamps tulad namin and also to experience other countries or countries na hindi nyo pa napuntahan then kung wala nang available sa isang country then look for other countries and by the way just to give you a tip yung mga kilalang country guys na, na palaging binubuk tulad ng Thailand, uh, Korea, Taiwan yun din yung mga uh, mahirap ibok kasi nga nagkakaubusan so kung wala na again you can just uh, choose other destination tip number three you have to make sure na nakasign up kayo sa uh, website ng yung airline and very important you have to add your guest list right away and also your credit card information so in this way kapag nasa guest information or guest details part na kayo so it's going to be easy diba select nyo lang yung name you don't have to input all the information manually especially sa international destination because um, the website will be asking for the passport information so kapag ang travel buddy nyo or like yung mga Kasama nyo sa, sa travels nyo, if they are not around, then you, you have to text them, you have to ask them, you have to PM them about their passport information, their date of birth and everything. So, it will be very easy if the information are already saved in your guest list. Same goes with the credit card information. Para again, you just have to select, select, and then finish. I will be showing you in a bit kung paano po ginagawa siya. So for the booking process guys, uh, the technique that I have is that I always check first kung alin ang mas maraming available na seat sale. Is it for the departure or is it for the return date? Because it is very important dahil do natin ibibase yung uh, pag-choose ng date. So let's say for example, andito. So, Cebu Pacific currently has um, a sale, 99 pesos for this destination. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Ayan. There. So, they currently have a sale from um, Cagayan to Iloilo, Cagayan de Oro to Iloilo, Cebu to Boracay, Cagayan de Oro or Clark. Okay, so let's focus on this for example. Kasi it's just 99 pesos, right? So, again, you need to make sure na naka-sign in kayo before you even book. And by the way, just uh, to show you on how to add guest list, of course, it's very easy. You just have to click on your name here and then guest list, my guest list. Uh, you can also add your credit card information here. 
So for my guest list, uh, ayan. Ayan siya guys. So you just have to enter the information here if you want to add uh, other guests. Andyan lang siya. So ayan, as you can see, it's asking for the, part, uh, the passport number and then the expiration date. Information na dapat handy ever na you will book, di ba? So, it's good if you have that information in your account already. Alright, so let's go ahead and book. So, let's say for example, we will book uh, Cebu. So, that's Philippines, Cebu to uh, Philippines, Cagayan de Oro. So, the seat sale earlier is for, I think, March up until uh, July. I'm not sh really sure, pero try lang natin. Um, let's say, for example, we want to travel between, uh, let's do April. Uh, April uh, 5 up until 9. And by the way, just a tip also guys, every time that we book, we always make sure that we have three full days. So let's say for example, if our flight is on a Monday, so dapat meron kami Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday na full, and then our departure date should be Friday. So yun yung rule of thumb namin every time that we book, para hindi siya bitin. Alright, so in this case, going back, so the, uh, April 5 to April 9, for example, so we'll just select one adult. Ayan. So as you can see, wala kayong makikita ang promo fare sa dates na sineselect nyo. And by the way, another tip, before I forget, I strongly suggest to use uh, a desktop or a laptop when booking uh, kasi if you will be using an app, one day lang ang nag appear uh, on top. So, mahihirapan kayong pumili. Unlike dito, kapag nasa desktop or laptop, merong nag-show na mga 7 days. So, mas madali kapag ang nag-scroll kayo ng date. So, next. Let's go ahead and check. Ayan. Eto, medyo mura siya, pero mahal pa rin. 1-4. Let's go ahead and check. Eto, here. Eto. So, 822 pesos uh, from April 16 to April 22. Uh, so, let's say for example, let's choose um, Thursday, April 16. So, as you can see guys, the entire week for that week from April 16, merong seat sale. So, medyo easy siya. So, let's say, so let's select that. Now, let's take a look at um, yung pabalik. Now, as you have noticed, sa pabalik, um, medyo konte ang my seat sale. Ang uh, my promo fare. Okay, so eto. So, April 25, the first one that we select earlier is April 16. So, in order for us to to have a better deal, so we have to adjust the day. So, uh, April 25, so 24, 23, 22, mga April 21 dapat ang ating alis. April 21, meron ba? Let's take a look. Merong April 21, ayun. So there. So, ang technique guys is very easy. Uh, alamin nyo muna kung asan yung may pinakamaraming um, option for seat sale is it sa papunta or is it sa pabalik and then kung saan ang uh, limited lang ang option yun yung unahin nyo and then balikan nyo na lang yung uh, kung saan yung mas marami kasi again mas marami naman kayong choice doon so unahin nyo muna yung uh, konti lang ang choice most of the time actually uh, yung pabalik ang medyo mahirap uh, yung pabalik ang medyo konti lang yung mga choices so yun yung inuuna ko munang i-check asan, anong date sa pabalik ang merong seat sale tapos i-adjust ko yung uh, departure date I hope that that will help you so yun nga, so here 
Uh, inuna ko muna yung April 25. Napabalik. So, April 25. So, again, rule of uh, three full days. So, one, two, three. Ayan. So, April 21. And April 25 yung pabalik. There. Now, if you want to see if, kasi nga ang seed sale na ito is for 99 pesos. If you want to see if 99 pesos nga ang base fare, you just have to check it here. Ayan, one adult, 99 pesos. Sa pabalik, it's one adult, 99 pesos. So, for a round trip fare for this uh, destination is only for 1,500 pesos. Mura siya. So, again, you just have to continue. Eto, the guest information. So, eto yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina na napaka-importante dapat uh, added na yung guest list ninyo sa inyong website para you just have to choose it. Okay, so if you are traveling, you just have to um, tick this box. And then if... Ayan, so you just have to select the name of the guest here. Let's say, for example, Eugene J. Dormis. Ayan. Um, it's automatic na mag input na yung information. Agad-agad. There. There you go. And then, you just have to continue. Okay, so eto guys. Uh, one good thing that I like about using a laptop also because we have this option or this option. Uh, I'm not sure parang walang option na ganito sa, sa app. So you can just proceed without add-ons. Yes. So mabilisan lang. There. Uh, so you have to review. It's 1,514. Just click. Confirm and continue. And then you just have to select your um, mode of payment. So here, dapat again, uh, na input na yung card na gagamitin nyo. Para all you have to do is uh, to input the, C the CVV. Um, expiration date should be here already. And then for the billing address, uh, eto lang guys, ang uh, kailangan yung. Uh, it type in manually so dapat mabilisan and then uh, I fully understand and then submit last step by the way guys that I can give is uh, be quick again pabilisan to paunahan to so dapat uh, mabilis kayo sa pag input ng information and ng details uh, para mabook nyo agad yung uh, seat sale na yan because most of the time Nagkakaroon ng error kapag nasa payment part na, it would sometimes say na the schedule or the seat that you have selected is no longer available kasi nga may nakauna na, diba? So, uh, you really have to be, to be very quick in booking. So there, so hopefully meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito and I hope na makabook kayo ng seat sale very soon at mapuntahan nyo na ang whatever dream destination na meron kayo. Uh, again guys, if you're not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time that we upload a new video. Thank you and bye!